Good morning. My name is Derek Inlander. I'm an internist in practice in Manhattan, New York. I have particular interest in uh, ME-CFS and its treatment. About 20 years ago, the only treatment uh, was a supplement um, called cutopressin, which was an injection of complex amino acid derived uh, from porcine liver. Uh, the cutopressin was made by Schwartz Pharma and it was an FDA approved complex amino acid um, uh, injection. Unfortunately, uh, Schwartz Pharma um, ran out of uh, funds and Nexavir, a company in Texas, uh, bought the rights uh, for uh, cutopressin and uh, renamed uh, the injection Nexavir. Um, we actually uh, had used um, cutopressin and Nexavir um, in a complex uh, form. What does that mean? That means actually that we find that cutopressin uh, on its own had relatively little effect and when we actually complexed it with um, various substances such as methylcobalamin, folic acid, glutathione, magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, calfazan, and trace metals, zinc, and molybdenum, we improved the efficiency uh, of the Nexavir. Uh, it, uh, as I said, was uh, an injection, an intramuscular injection given um, once weekly. We find actually uh, that um, the uh, Nexavir uh, was um, improved in its efficiency also if we actually uh, gave um, glutathione and L-cysteine. Um, we knew that glutathione was low in uh, patients with ME and CFS. Um, and we also gave folic acid um, uh, in um, addition. By that time, as we're talking about um, approximately a decade ago, a friend of mine, um, who unfortunately passed away, uh, Rich uh, Van Koenenberg, um, and I were in contact, and we were discussing um, the merits of treatment um, of MECFS. Uh, Rich was a brilliant um, uh, researcher. Uh, in fact, uh, his research, original research was not in medicine, uh, was in physical science. Uh, he had uh, a particular interest in looking uh, at the various treatments of, of ME and came up with uh, an idea that the uh, problem lay in the methylation cycle in the immune system. And he said to me, Derek, you know, uh, the methods actually that you're using uh, with uh, Nexavir and supple supplementing and complexing the uh, treatment um, with the um, glutathione, folic acid, and uh, magnesium, calfazan, etc., uh, fit with my uh, thoughts on the methylation cycle. The only thing actually that seems to be missing um, in your protocol is folinic acid. So I said, Rich, well, it's very simple. Well, what we'll do is we will add folinic acids, which we did, uh, to good effect. So uh, we have come up actually um, with um, uh, the idea that uh, if we actually uh, use supplements, and uh, the supplements um, are according to uh, Rich's um, thinking uh, and research, uh, based uh, on the methylation cycle uh, defect in this disease. And we actually, um, in addition to the weekly injection of the Nexavir, or cutopressin, uh, we add actually um, substances uh, such as uh, immune resist, which contains glutathione and L-cysteine. Glutathione is very poorly absorbed uh, in um, its uh, um, oral form. Uh, that's why actually we also add uh, glutathione in the Nexavir uh, complex. Uh, it also is uh, helped uh, in its absorption if we actually add L-cysteine. And in fact, um, the immune resist contains glutathione and L-cysteine. This is taken one capsule, <coughs> excuse me, one capsule in the morning. 
in the evening, one capsule of uh, immune, uh, immune Plus, uh, which contains uh, folinic acid. Uh, in order for the methylation cycle actually to um, proceed, we need actually an excess of uh, B12. And the old method of uh, administering B12 um, was by intramuscular injection. Nobody likes an injection. So we find actually that if we actually give a sublingual uh, methylcobalamin spray, methylcobalamin and B6, that the, the methylcobalamin uh, enters uh, circulation, systemic circulation, almost immediately, just as if we were actually giving an injection. So uh, the sublingual spray uh, is uh, a simple method of administering B12. This is given actually one or two sprays daily. Um, Blasi uh, is a researcher in Barcelona, Spain, and a patient actually came from Spain and said, well, what do you think of Blasi's uh, ideas on electrolyte supplementation? And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar uh, with uh, Dr. Blasi. And they said, well, he's not exactly a doctor, uh, he actually uh, found that if you add electrolyte, and his uh, electrolyte was called recuperation uh, or recup, uh, contained potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium. And this actually tend to relieve um, pain and muscle and muscle fatigue. So, of course, actually, uh, we got um, uh, recup from uh, Spain and... Um, Unfortunately, it's somewhat difficult to get in the United States, and the FedEx cost um, was prohibitive. So we find actually a substitute called electrolyte, and this, as I said, contains potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium. And this is given actually two teaspoons in the morning, two teaspoons at night, and actually seems to help um, with uh, muscle uh, fatigue. Lastly, uh, patients actually with this disease unfortunately have brain fog. And uh, the brain fog is, uh, is in the form of, of um, memory loss, short-term memory loss, and concentration loss. And we find that is that uh, the catapult, um, which contains uh, phosphorylserine and casclaw, uh, is helpful. So, in essence, um, I'm actually uh, basically telling. Um, all my patients, um, what a wonderful researcher um, Rich von Koenenberg uh, was, and unfortunately he passed away, as I said, uh, two months ago. A terrible loss uh, to me personally and to um, science in general. I hope actually that these few words, um, which I dedicate to, to Rich, uh, are helpful um, to uh, patients. I thank you very much.